Are you going to play it? Where am I? I've been asking myself that question for years. Where the hell am I today? We're in uh, Chris Lord Algie's studio. At Mix LA, which is actually, in my opinion, the best mix house in the world. And we're mixing the Meatloaf album. We've already mixed all 16 songs, including all the B-sides. It'll be the final day of the final mixing for the record. Basically, we started last January or February, and we've been mixing here for the last, like, I'd say week and a half. Every 15 years, basically, there's an album that I do that's like an event. This is an event album. Because you know what? I am so in your face when the, the music really comes that it takes you 15 years to get over me. Wait till you hear this record. It's everything you know and would love for Meatloaf, and then a hundred things more. He's doing songs that sound almost like the Beastie Boys. He's doing songs that sound like Metallica. He's doing songs that have you know, Def Leppard moments in them. You just won't believe it. This is the first album that I can remember really having a lot of fun on. He's got so much rock and roll in him, it's unbelievable. He's willing to take risks. He's amazing. He's just a sweetheart, a real animated guy. I mean, if that's the great thing about me, you can instantly see his persona as soon as he walks in the door. It took me about a month of being really depressed sitting on a couch at some point, I think in 2006. And I said, I gotta change managers. And so we did. And right away, Irving Azoff, Ken Levitan said Rob Cavallo. I then researched Rob Cavallo, and I went, oh, this guy's perfect. The producer on a, on a record is kind of like the producer and a director on a movie. I just did the Kid Rock record, Rock and Roll Jesus, and I did My Chemical Romance, The uh, Black Parade, and I did Green Day's American Idiot. Most of the records that he's done, they've compared them to Meatloaf. Chemical Romance, Green Day, even the Goo Goo Dolls. Go read the reviews. My name is mentioned in them, so I said, Hmm, well this makes sense. If they're, if they're comparing, you might as well do the real thing instead of, you know, don't fake it. I think I was set up. I get a call and uh, it's like, Meatloaf wants to meet you. And I'm thinking, Meatloaf, wow. He's made some good records. I guess, well, it can't hurt to meet him. So he comes sort of lumbering up my driveway and he goes, Rob, it's great to meet you. I listened to all your records. Let me play some stuff. I knew when I walked in to meet him, I had songs to play. I knew the order to play him in and I knew how to hook him to get him in the record. And he sits down and he goes, this song, you're perfect for this song. He goes, I knew I'd get you. And I'm thinking, this song, these are great songs. I immediately fell in love with him. So I was like, I gotta do this. I got him first, first song, hooked him. Boom, ha. And I put the little worm on, hung it out over the dock. Bam, hook me a Cavallo. I've been mixing since it was invented, basically. I love working with Chris Lord Algae. He's fantastic. We have a great relationship, and we just know exactly what to expect from the person. He mixes everything for Rob, and so I'm like a magnet. I'm attached to Rob at the hip. They bring me all the ingredients. It's hundreds of tracks. Sometimes there's as many as 250 tracks for one song. And we crop it down to fit it onto a 72-channel board, and then mix it down to two track from there. They make all decisions on the parts they want, all 200 of them, and they just say, you make it all work together. He really knows how to, you know, sort of reinterpret what we've been going through. And I can have a very open conversation with him about how to make things sound right and how to present this work to the public. Check on a lot of records, you'll find his name. A lot of Grammys, a lot of album of the year stuff. We figured out on this record, I'm an actor who's acting like he's singing. I'm not a singer, I can't sing a note until I get my character and figure out what, I, I gotta figure out the voice, I gotta figure out what he's doing, what he's thinking, how he's moving. Because, you know, we have this thing where he says, you know, I'm an actor who sings, which is a very interesting thing. It actually was refreshing for me because we, we approach the record in a different way than you would approach a regular record. And this is not a regular record by any means. Meatloaf's record is different because it's, it's almost theatric rock and roll. You know, he'd say, well, you know, in this song, I'm playing the part of this character. You know, maybe we can have a guitar that goes along with this character. It was like making a movie. It's so different and he's so animated that that's what's exciting about it. And working with him, he's really focused on it. I always tell Rob, when we first start a song, you don't want to be in here now. You, you, you got to go. You really don't want to be in here. It's not pretty. Then it gets good after a while. Once I figure out what I'm doing, it's fine. It's good. And then I get real dramatic. The quality of the songs and the quality of Meat's voice, it's just there's no one else like him. This is a job that you never get old. I mean, it's rock and roll, just like The Who said. It's about every day is blasting the stereo and mom banging on the door and saying, keep it quiet. It's been so much fun because the music is very diverse. And, you know, we had the opportunity to hire some of the best, greatest musicians in the world. This is the first time I ever really enjoyed the recording. I mean, I really had a good time. The favorite part is just actually hanging with meat, hanging with the loaf, chilling behind the console, and, you know, having stories go back and forth. 
Go ahead, ask me my influences. What are my influences? You still rolling? Musical would be Bob Dylan, actually, because he's all about the lyrics, and that's what it is. And then if you start getting into singers, Joplin, because she's so emotional. So if you take an emotional Joplin and a Bob Dylan lyric, Meatloaf. But I'm heading out the day I'm going How do I know you're at the end of the shoot? It's real simple, because you guys are out of here. Sit down and show me what you